Hi, I am Dr. Devika Gunashila and I am the director of uh, Gunashila Maternity and Surgical Hospital and also Gunashila IVF Center. Now today I am going to be talking to you about IVM. What exactly is IVM? IVM stands for in vitro maturation. As we all know, in vitro is outside the body and maturation is when you take out the eggs that are immature from the ovary and then allow them to mature in the lab. Now, IVM was first started by Dr. Cha in Korea way back in the 1990s. It then grew in popularity. In our hospital, we got the first IVM baby in 2003. It was the first in the country. Since then, we have made changes and progresses in our IVM program where we have changed media, we have changed our protocols of uh, choosing patients and we have made great progress to the extent of now we have 500 patients who, who we have successfully treated. Now IVM cannot be used for everybody. IVM is not an answer for all patients. It was initially started off to treat patients who had polycystic ovary or PCO as it is commonly known. These patients have a unique problem of producing too many eggs when their ovaries are stimulated in an IVF cycle. This leads to a complication called as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome where the ovaries swell and become almost as large as small cricket balls. This can also lead to a lot of complications like accumulation of fluid around the chest, inside the abdomen, twisting of the ovary and sometimes can be life threatening. In, in order to avoid these complications, IVM was first discovered. Now who can we do IVM for? IVM can be done for, as we all have already mentioned, patients who have polycystic ovaries. It can also be done for young women who have been affected with cancer and, in, and are in a hurry to start their treatment with chemotherapy. So then what we can do is we can give them a minimal stimulation with the drugs that are used to produce the eggs from the ovary and take out these uh, eggs when they are at a very, very small immature stage and mature them outside the body. It has also been done sometimes as a rescue procedure to help women who are not producing as many eggs as required, that is who, are, who have a suboptimal response and we have gotten pregnancies with them. Now what are the main advantages of IVM? It could become cheaper because the amount of hormonal stimulation is very less, the time taken for IVM is also very less, but you must realize that IVM cannot be done for all patients. We have done about 500 patients and are, we have achieved a pregnancy rate of about 42%. And uh, if you do want to uh, learn more about IVM, you can always check out our website. Thank you.